Abyss is home to those who shun the light of day. It is the secret shadow of Garrick Mach. They think they need a place like this for Garrick Mach to thrive. Yeah, fine. We're the Ashen Wolves. We're the secret fourth house in Abyss. The surface world turned its back on us, and we did the same in return. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. So this would be the where we go ahead and start out on um, Edelgard's story before we get around to, you know, doing the church branch. But someone did bring up that you might want to go ahead and get the DLC stuff out of the way. I was originally going to wait, but apparently it unlocks extra classes. It just gives you more flexibility. So you know what? Why the heck not? Plus, I'm 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 not actually opposed to not going through the first half of the game again already. Holy crap! So the story differs from the main game in the following ways: growth units will level up, but skill levels will not increase. Oh, there's a there's a colon there. Growth units will level up, but skill level will not increase. Units can change classes, but cannot gain new certifications. Interesting. So it's like, it, it basically seems like this is almost like a challenge pack, where you have certain things at every map, you have to figure out the best approach. Or, you gain ore by winning battles and inflicting armor breaks. You mind for your weapon durability, there's a finite amount of gold and ore. Only the sword of the creator can be repaired when you explore. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. For each battle, use the shops around Abyss or the battle prep menus to refresh your battalion. Okay. I can do that. Interesting. So there's only normal and hard. I'm gonna go with hard and um, I'll go with classic because I kind of found hard to be too easy, and so hard casual just seems like it would be insulting. This may be a terrible idea. And you know what? As much as female Byleth um, was cool, I just I, I I fundamentally hated her stupid stockings and just ah uh, like I like the male design better. And, of course, I have to have a different name for every time. We've had Voroth, we've had Larshi. Let's go ahead and have... Durast. Sure, why not? I, I have no idea where Durast came from, but it's a thing and it exists now. Um, no, I don't have the Nintendo Online thing still. <laughs> That's and I, I think I've talked about this before. That's actually not entirely true. It's more that I don't have Cindered Shadows, the Fourth House. Um, it, like my Nintendo Online is on a different account because I don't necessarily want the games I play online to the show Imperial up and have you guys message me. One hundred eighty-five. The construction of Garrig Mach was completed. Saint Seros held a sacred ritual to honor the occasion. Four saints, known as the Four Apostles, were led to a tranquil place to perform the ritual. They poured their holy essences into the Chalice of Beginnings, a gift from the Goddess herself, in hopes of bringing about her second coming. Alas, the Rite of Rising failed. Bearing the blame for the ritual's failure, the four apostles left the monastery, all but vanishing from the land. Interesting and stupid. We weren't able the to summon a god. Bye. The lush forest of Adrestia's mountains. The second traversed Fodlin's fangs, settling on the ocean's salted shores. The third traveled to the mountains vanishing beneath their lofty peaks. And the fourth faded into shadow, in a town untouched by day's light. I bet the fourth is our Lost house now. To history. Nothing but legend now remains of the four apostles. Their offering to the Nabataean chalice, and the goddess, who never returned. I mean, that might be because she never left, because, um, uh, spoilers! But you should darn well know if you've gotten this far in the playthrough. Excuse me! Sorry to intrude! Hello, Alois! It's a- for some reason I'm like, oh, it's a different opening! Well, of course it's a freaking different, different opening. Please, forgive the disruption, Lady Rhea, but I have that report you asked for. 
Do not worry yourself, Alois. As it happens, I am presently unoccupied. Please, go on. Ah, great. I'll just... Hmm? What's that book you've got there? Eloise, you are so bad at reports. It is a chronicle covering the 995 years since Garrick Mock Monastery's completion. How far are we in now? Huh? Sounds like a good read. Maintaining the church's records is one of the duties entrusted to all archbishops, myself included. How many archbishops have there been since you are kind of sort of been around since the place was founded? This one states that St. Seros ordered the monastery's construction after the end of the War of Heroes. This is a rare and valuable text. Most documents of that era have been lost to time. I see, I see. Time aside, we also lost many books in that massive fire 21 years ago. Sorry. Indeed. What was once well documented exists now only in this chronicle. That sounds awful and, like, weird, um, statement there. It's like, indeed, indeed. Uh, also, there was a fire, and I'm like, well, yeah, I know there was a fire. It just seems so hackneyed way to get that <laughs> information Not in. Not least of which is the ceremony commemorating the monastery's completion. Interesting. I'll admit, I know the year it took place, but not a thing beyond that. I mean, it failed. That's all we know. That is to be expected, unfortunately. According to this chronicle, the rite of rising was held during the ceremony. The intent was to bring about the goddess's rebirth. The rite of rising, huh? Hmm. Can't say I've ever heard of that one. I am not surprised. There should be countless records documenting that important ritual. However, but I know there's a there's a word coming. Alas. Alas, damn it. Today all we have to go on are fragments of forgotten memories and our own imaginations. Fragments of forgotten memory. That's very telling because that makes no sense except that she's a freaking dragon has been around forever. One thing is clear. Their wish for the goddess's return was most fervent. I, I, obviously she's not the goddess because the goddess is in my head, but you know, I think I said something about, you know, well, of course not. She's, you know, running around as a dragon, but Rhea isn't the actual goddess. I, I do have to wonder what the connection between, um, Saros and Rhea actually is. Like, d did Saros used to actually be running around on her own power and Rhea knew her? Like, I, that's never really been talked about or clarified, I don't believe. Saint Seros held the ritual along with the four apostles, Noah, Chevalier, Timotheus, and Oban. I'll remember Chevalier, because that's a real word. The other ones I'm going to forget by now. However, it did not bear fruit, as the goddess did not return to this world. So, it is written. I've never heard of the four apostles before. They're different from the four saints, right? That is correct. Today, Almost no records exist of the four apostles. So is, is is this campaign going to be going to the four areas and finding the remains of the four apostles? Or maybe they're still alive, just like Rhea is? Again, I, I, I'm i not sure, because I know Rhea's been around since the battle, but I, I don't know if she knew the four apostles. I bet she did. Their names live on only in the names of their crests. But the bloodlines bearing those tokens of the past have been lost. All four of them? I guess if all the apostles went into hiding, more or less. Any deeper knowledge of the apostles has all but disappeared from the grand stage of history. Well, that's interesting. Does that mean they're somewhere backstage? R what? In a sense. It is possible that their bloodlines have carried on in secret. Perhaps materializing where no one thought to look. I get the distinct feeling that they had Alois use different lines, and then in testing, people were like, that doesn't sound like Alois, so they had to rewrite his lines in order to be more like something Alois would say, because sometimes his lines make no fucking sense in the context of the scene. I had not intended to indulge in such a long-winded lecture. You like lecturing, don't lie. Please, tell me your report, Alois. It concerns the underground, does it not? Oh, right. It's as you suspected. Recently, there have been several incidents in the area beneath Garrick Mach.
Claude, are you certain that suspicious individual you spotted went through there? <laughs> we're all in trouble if we're having to count on Claude for accurate information. I will say, that does look a bit like a passageway, doesn't it? Unless I dreamt it up while sleepwalking, there's no mistaking what I saw. I mean, but are you sure you didn't? I never thought I'd say this, but I believe Claude's story. In fact, it reminds me of something. I have heard tales of countless passages snaking beneath Garrick Mock. This is undoubtedly one of them. Perhaps so. In any case, there's no telling where it leads. Oh no! Oh, you're right! There's no telling what we could find. Terrible danger, wicked creatures, unspeakable smells. <laughs> the risk is too high, your highnesses. I must humbly insist that you wait here, where it's safe and smells nice. I fucking love Claude. <laughs> Meanwhile, Teach and I will track down the bandit-shaped person. If we don't return, do me a favor and call for the knights, will you? Interesting, I have to go with Claude. Is it just because everyone likes Claude the best? That is quite enough. As though we would allow you to make that call on your own. Okay, that I good. With so little information, it's far too dangerous. We'll come along as well, right, Dimitri? Yes, of course. If it was indeed a thief, we must not allow them to get away with their crime. Okay, just imagine it is a thief for a second. You came up and you stole some bread, and freaking the crown prince of the kingdom, the scion of the emperor, and the next and future leader of the Federation, I forget what his actual title is. Like, <laughs> these three people come after you. Holy shit. That'd be basically like you steal bread and all of a sudden freaking Trump, Putin, and I don't actually know who leads China right now, but the three of them show up. Considering what took place at the goddess's right of rebirth, vigilance is paramount. Right, well, tag along if you insist. Just don't come crying to me if we all meet a terrible fate. Deal? You look like you've had a terrible fate, haven't you? Likewise. Well, no use dallying. Let's be on our way. Unless there's someone else we should call for. Make sure you bring your binky. Hmm. I fear our thief will have long escaped. I didn't say summon. I basically said, hey, let them know where we're doing in case we don't come back. True. And most of them are currently away, investigating the Western Church. Whoa there! What's all this, Professor? You and the three house leaders creeping around at night? It's night? Pretty shady if you ask me. It looks very bright to me. It's certainly a rare and unexpected sighting. Especially considering the hour. Looks like a whole lot of something is about to happen. I'm going I back did to wonder why the hell Leinhardt, of all people, was the representative of the, um... Black Eagle House. Stop right there, Lenhart. Your bad luck is our good fortune. You're coming with us. You can stop thinking of ways out of this, Hilda. We could use your help, too. You as well, Ash. I'll explain everything on the way. Happy to help. We don't have anything better to do at this hour, so we may as what well... What are you talking about? You have sleeping to do. Lenhart is the smartest one here. You have our gratitude. Now then, let us be on our way. Ready, Professor? The more the merrier, I suppose. Let's just hope we're not all marching to our doom. Oh, doom is fun. <sighs> Yuri, this is brutal. Tell me again why you're subjecting me to this devastating boredom. Okay, I don't know what that crest is. Over in, if you look at the upper right, you can see a crest there, and it looks or a flag there, uh, but for some reason I keep seeing a woman looking up and to the right, smiling, and I'm almost, I'm almost positive that's not what it is, but my eyes keep seeing that. Enough with the yawning ball face. If you're really that bored, you could always make a friendly wager. Thanks, but no thanks, pal. Low on funds as it is. Last thing I need is another debt I can't pay. Right, B. As if you could say no to that. How diverting that you should bicker for my amusement. Imagine my overwhelming dread were I stuck here without such joyous entertainment. <laughs> Count me out. I'll leave the talking to Yuri Bird and Coco. 
Yuri, interesting. Okay, I don't know who the redheaded question mark is, but the fact she gives people pet names, I immediately love her. Hey, boss. Back already, huh? Have you detected any movement on the surface? Well, uh, I looked for the Cardinal's meeting, just like you said. The thing is, I was spotted by some weirdos. They chased after me and everything. That is a very apt description for, uh, Claude. Some weirdos, you say? So very helpful. They weren't knights, were they? I don't know. There were only a few of them, but I bet they were armed to the teeth. <laughs> With meager numbers like that, I doubt they intend to take on Abyss. They probably took you for some kind of villain. They'll lock you up if they catch you. Finally, a little action. Let's find them first and throw some punches. <laughs> Hold Balthus, tis ignorance itself to rush headfirst into trouble. Alright, I'm alright. So, I like the redheaded chick and the blonde Constance is... Oh my gosh. I'm not a big fan of her. Uh, and granted, I'm just like everything else, I'm sure her character will grow on me. They do a great job developing these characters, but... <laughs> You're excited to fight too. You've been waiting for a chance to try out your shiny new magic. <laughs> Surface laws don't apply down here. That gives us the freedom to have some fun with them. They're probably not knights, but our new friends definitely work for the church. You had best not leave me behind. Well, yeah, then go. <laughs> Do you expect them to carry you? Hmm. It seems this place is more than a simple passageway. There's clear evidence of human habitation. People living under Garrick Mock? Oh! My brother used to tell me stories like that back in his academy days. Ah, so Holst attended the academy as well then? Of course. Back then there were tons of rumors about what goes on below Garrig Mach. Do you, do you want to share any of them with me? Something about tons of passages and houses beneath the town, all inhabited by super shady people. They had a real intimidating name too. Uh, what was it again? I think it was called... Abyss? Abyss isn't that intimidating, I'm sorry. That's two points for the pink-haired gal. Welcome to Abyss, strangers. I was gonna say, like, I, I, one of the best games I ever played was just all about telling stories of the Abyss. Identify yourself. That uniform. It, that's a uniform? That's a chain. Welcome, curious students of the Officer's Academy. What brings such fine, upstanding surface dwellers to our humble abode? We're tracking someone who is creeping around the monastery. Our business here does not concern you. Wait, Do hold you on. Do to let us pass? Eddie, you're tracking someone that went here after being skulking around the monastery. Why do you think it doesn't concern him? He's the prime suspect as far as you're concerned at this point. <laughs> such indulgence simply cannot be permitted. Your words may fool the fool, but I cannot be so easily deceived. What? I, Constance von Nouvelle, shall divine your true intentions. Oh my god, I hate her. Can I please get Mercedes back? <laughs> I went through an entire playthrough being mean to Mercedes, and I'm like, first episode, I'm like, oh my god, please give me Mercedes back. You are here by order of the church. Which cruelly plots to eliminate the inhabitants of Abyss. What the? Constance, go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. Did she say Nouvelle? I don't care what the reason for this brawl is. The fight's on the menu, and I'm ready to feast. I mean, we can we can feast. I. I'm taking Constance out first. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I have no idea what her position will be. I'm not running through the whole army just to, like, bloody up Constance. Let's get right to it, yeah? By the look of them, I'd wager they're experienced combatants. I'm not certain this is a wise endeavor. Yeah, where is this in the plot line exactly? They said it was after the goddess's ritual of rebirth, so I think we're probably, like, midway through the first chapter? I was thinking the very same thing. Time to make a strategic retreat, then? Turning back already? Oh, but you'll make me so sad. Now, why would you want to do that? Everyone here is starved for amusement. They've been waiting for a good fight. Wow, look at that. A flawless example of a surprise attack. 
These aren't your run-of-the-mill thugs. They talked to you and walked up. This is not a surprise attack. Claude, you suck at ploys. Claude, this isn't the time to be impressed by our enemy. We must find a way through at once. Wait. Claude, is it? Is in the brand new heir of House Regan? Who, me? Nah, wrong guy. Claude's a common name in Fodlin. It's just too dashing for new moms to pass up. <laughs> It's funny how Claude does something stupid and I yell at him, and then the next time he opens his mouth, I'm like, oh, I fucking love Claude. It's even a popular choice for fake names. Just a good, solid, all purpose moniker, you know? Right, except there's only one Claude enrolled at the Academy this year. Looks like that's how you. How the fuck would you know that? How do you even know that? Okay, thank you. I'm glad somebody asked. Ah, uh, you just gave yourself away, pal. Looks like my luck's finally taking a turn for the good. I got played by a computer character. All right, so your choices are as follows. Line up for the beating of a lifetime, or let us lock you up like the good boys and girls you undoubtedly are. I have no clue what this guy's going on about, but it looks like a fight's in order. And it's pretty much all my fault. I mean, not really. You, all you did was correctly scout out something that happened. There's a saying from the East about fighting a flicker with a flame. Seems applicable right about now. Finally, let's do this already! Prepare to face the almighty king of grappling! God damn it. Hmm. Why can't I shake the feeling that I know that wild man? Because he just reminds you of, uh, Raphael. I was hoping we'd actually get to the battle before... Oh wow, okay. This is like a whole different... Like, I don't mind, but I'm, I'm surprised that I can't even see my other save files. So the question is, will I be playing as... Um, I've already forgotten his damn name. <laughs> the new Varoth and the students, or Abyss? Like, obviously I know I'll control Abyss eventually. But for this first one, it may have us subjugate them. So it does look like they're having me... Okay, so... Alfie? Holy shit! Okay, that's way more guys than I thought I was going to be running into. Holy wow. Wow, 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 wow. Raises defense. There's a of grappling. Here's some sealed gates that I guess... This is a way bigger fight than I thought would be like the, the tutorial round fight. So I have 3,000. I have to assume that my setup is good for at least the first round. I won't have to, I don't have to change anything. So let's just get into it. Let's get into it. Who are you people anyhow? Oh, dress is me. It doesn't seem right to cross blades without knowing at least that much. Wow, does it hurt to take yourself that seriously? Answer the man's question, B. I me. Eh, fine. We're the Ashen Wolves. We're the secret fourth house in Abyss. The surface world turned its back on us, and we did the same in return. Back for a back, as they say. Okay, makes a degree of sense. Fourth house? Impossible. Still, we must focus on the battle ahead. Seems like it'll be tough to fight here. It's kind of dark. It looks like a great place to map. Oh my though. gosh, shush. The locks on those gates look really complicated. There must be another way through. How, how can you tell that from here? I don't know why they look here. It's just to show me that... Are you showing me this? I'll cut through. Ready and willing. Not 
something's happening. What are we doing wrong? <laughs> I think the better question is, what aren't you doing wrong? Only we can operate that. Wow, that seems random and interesting. Stay focused. Who, me? That's a lot of attention on Claw that I'm putting. <laughs> Try it though. Like Claude is on the defense square. This I, I say, I'm saying Claude. I meant Dimitri. It may have been a terrible mistake, guys. <laughs> Guys, stop hitting people. I have a feeling that I just killed him. Okay, so don't do that. Okay, so that was actually my own fault. I I knew that Dimitri would not be the best. Who are you? Wow. I'm with this. Seems like uh, Okay. I will prevail. So she will be good at that. Who me? I'll cut through. Ready and willing. Wow, you can't even attack from that far away yet. Seems a much better strategy. Stay focused. It's our chance to prevail. Let's not get him attacked. Okay, there we go. Much better. This should be a much better way of doing the opening opening uh, engagement. Because, yeah, there we go. Instead of taking freaking 32 damage from the brawlers, we took zero. matters that they're getting experience. Like, we're gonna go through the rest of the campaign using the actual wolves, right? That's my assumption. Okay. Again, are we actually murdering these people? <laughs> like, I have questions. Over already. 
Have we actually not taken damage, by the way? I'm going to go back here and press this, just so I can get it on record that I pressed it. Must be awful losing to me. That just leaves us with these chillabuts. Waited until last to fight him. Um, not a great plan. Come and get some, kiddo. I won't hold back, so you better not either. These fists are packed with years of pent up resentment. Time to let loose. You have my support. Nah! I'm overusing. Um, Gambits, I think. Oh, isn't that interesting? Sure, why the hell not? It's over. That is that. Oh, you got guts. I'll give you that much. Actually, you know what? I'd forgotten Stay that was focused. a ranged attack. Let me go ahead and actually. Come and get some Spencer. Interesting. He stopped. I actually thought I'd get a crit on the second hit. I will. Prevail. I did not. out nearly as well as I wanted to. I'm here to help. We won't hold back. So I guess that wasn't actually a good way to keep using up my I'll give it my all. I'll cut through. Happening. <laughs> uh, that was an odd interaction. I guess they didn't Ready think about willing. the fact I could move after pressing it. <laughs> Battle. We have them move forward. Can't get ahead of myself. Me? Okay, so there's the first encounter that. Whoops! Did not realize that would put her in range. I do think Hilda's better able to stand up to that. Hopefully, she's okay. Fifty-eight percent chance to hit. Damn it, Hilda! I love it when you crit, but not when you're under attack. I don't think I could have both gotten to you if you hadn't killed that guy. Oh. 
Moonheart, you're also a healer, correct? Yes. Thanks. We'll go ahead and have Dimitri come up here and finish this guy off. You never had a chance. Come to think of it, there's an easier way to handle this. <sighs> okay, her name's Hoppy. What? What? What was that? It couldn't have been a summoning spell. Interesting. weird things in the corner. That's interesting. I wonder how I get this open. They're the only ones that can use those. Will I just be able to open the door when I get there? I have questions. And you know what? Time will reveal the answers. Excellent. There we go with a level up. Cool, cool. Again, I don't think that actually will matter in the long I must run. Keep aiming higher. But I guess I'm glad it, it happened. Like, I'm not not glad that it happened. Don't actually use the sort of the free area. No reason to wear it down. This may kill, um, but at the very least, it may also give me some extra ore. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happens if the like killing shot also breaks all their armor. Oh, he does have another health bar. For some reason, I thought he might not. You hit him so hard Doing he was knocked out of the ground. That is one of my favorite things about this game. Um, it's just so silly and stupid and fun. moves up a level. Okay. You know, the Azure Wolves are in dire need of a better commander. Like, they should not all be bunching around like this. Oh, wait, that's the whole point. 
Interesting. I guess she is a caster, huh? Is it too late for me to back out of this fight? I don't want to hurt anyone. Oh, that's a nice sentiment. I knew I liked you. But in this case, I guess there's no avoiding it. That's a lot of damage on Hilda. That's even more damage on Hilda. Like, I knew she would be hit by spells, but I didn't, I didn't think it would be that much. Three Divine Pulses left. Okay, so we need to not put Hilda there. Who, me? Stay focused. I hate using another sort of creator shot, but you fought well. Ready and willing. Is it too late for me to back out of this fight? I don't want to hurt anyone. But in this case... Okay. Oh, damn. I'll give it my all. Um, that's really bad. Sorry, did I hurt you? I will prevail. Yeah, do not let her hit Claude again. <laughs> Battle. Thanks for that. Okay, I guess it wouldn't have mattered as much. Hopefully, hopefully Eddie doesn't die, because I was totally putting her into harm's way in order to protect, um, Claude. Come on, say- I did not think there was any way in hell Ash had a shot here. But, shit. Use caution. God damn it. To be okay, let's do that last turn again. With less stupidity. I will prevail. Use caution. Is that all? Oh, interesting. <laughs> it would behoove you to watch your back. Oh, shut up. Oh, no. I knew something didn't feel right. Who, me? It'd behoove you to shut up. You lost to me? Give it my all. Ready and willing. Oh, 
go ahead and let all these guys get taken out real quick. Must be awful losing to me. Stay focused. We do have to deal with her though. So let's move our ranged folk up. Oh damn it, I wasted a line for a turn. I should have healed. Okay. Is it too late for me to butt in this? There we go. Now she can't take people out as we walk by. It's not luck, it's fate. This is boring. Help me out. Aren't you a little brat? Oh no, I'm losing, so now it's boring. Yeah, we can't, so this will only let one of them attack her at a time. I'll cut through. They can move forward. Oh, good. I would. Axe versus axe always has the potential to go really badly. Um, but no, they only did eight damage. That's 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 not as. Oh, there's a caster. I did not notice there was a caster. Why is there a caster? I do not approve of this. That's my own fault completely, though. Ah, uh, Claude gets hit. He should be okay, though. He should be okay, though. Oh, yeah, I, I misread. Sorry, the victory is mine. Thanks. Uh, yeah, use caution. I must steal myself. Ready and willing. All right, we can go ahead and let Claude get some easy hits. Oh, and freaking Durast. I'm gonna. Should I, I should have just named him Baroth again. I, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with changing his name every playthrough. 
I, 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 I think it's because I like to think of them as different characters, and so Jaross is the one that goes down underground, and Baroth is the one that helped Claude out. Okay, so we are we are fast approaching the end of this battle. We've dealt with two of the four. There the other two are. good healer, I gotta say. Boring character from what little I know of him, but grants I've never actually had him in my army. No hesitation, as expected. I dodge better than you dodge. I dodge better than you. I'll cut through. We'll say there is another archer, so be careful moving Claude up. This Claude will not do well we against archers. Had a chance. Not moving Claude into danger range. All right, Hilda, take your vengeance. Hilda, Hilda, indeed. Duh. Nice avoidance terrain that my opponents thankfully did not make use of. They all came down to the passageway in order to fight me. So we can go ahead and move up here. Thank you, Avoidance Terrain. Okay, there is several casters. Several casters. Ink, handle it. Underestimate the denizens of Abyss, and it won't end well for you. Tremble in fear at my magical might. <laughs> yes. Petrified. <laughs> Triple in fear of a bunch of lance heads to the face. I'm not afraid. Never underestimate an outsider. Definitely did not kill her first, though. <laughs> it's not that I'm defeated so much as that I'm temporarily grounded. Uh huh. You're grounded.
Why the hell are you standing there? Like you you had to go out of your way not to stand on a spot that would protect you. I don't I don't understand. And I didn't even enjoy it. I'm sorry. So here comes the final push. Oh, look at all these guys nice and grouped up. Hey, remember that gambit? We did fucking need it. God damn it. <laughs> I was gonna be so, so cool. We're at your side. Now's our chance. I use gambits way better than you guys do. He doesn't get the bonus. Witness my power. Okay, we need to take care of that. Although I guess he doesn't actually have range on Edel Edelgard. Now that I think on it. They're both going for her. Yeah, leave. Go to the steel axe. Oh my gosh, one hit point. I'm gonna knock you to one hit point. Annoying. <laughs> damage to heal than I thought they would. I guess she's a, like, barbarian and you not a knight. Me? And I keep thinking of her the way she was in my army. Sorry, did I hurt you? Split second, I thought she was dead. I was like, so like, what? No. But no, she was. She's fine. She's fine. Yeah. Never underestimate an outsider. I mean, apparently not. Freaking one dude doing all the ow. I know you. You're the one Lord Lenato adopted, isn't that right? That's right. Wait, I recognize you too. Interesting. Your Count Rose adopted son. I'm glad I had them fight. I don't know how you ended up here, but your house is no doubt worried sick. Let's get you home, okay? You really think I'd choose to go back there? <laughs> Better watch yourself. You might lose a limb. Or your life. Shut up! Interesting. That makes me very curious. I'm starting to see results. Well, what have we here? Some lost kids stumbling around in the dark. Stay a while, won't you? Stay a while and listen. Shame indeed not to have a bit of fun with each other while we've got the chance, you know. 
I must stay focused. Nicely done, Dimitri. Uh, I, why did I not give that kill to freaking um? I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. One character. <laughs> Maybe I got a bit too carried away. Nah. Skirmish in abyss. It's safe to say we've won this round, don't you think? Uh, B, was it? The name's Balthus. I don't lose often, but I can at least recognize what it looks like. Okay, I thought he was talking about me. I was like, does my name start with a B? I'm, I'm so bad. Balthus. Balthus. Balthus? From House Albrecht? Baldy, is that you? Oh, <laughs> you look, uh, old. Huh, do we know each other, pal? Wait a minute. That hair, those eyes, that voice. I didn't think I knew you, but then I noticed that you have hair and you have eyes and you talk. <laughs> like, what? Hilda! I don't believe it! Pulse little sis! Alright. And with that, I'll go ahead and save the game. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, Duras. I will have to remember that. I will probably fail. See you in the next one, guys. Woohoo! <laughs>